Hello and welcome back with an RSPS video and today we're back on my favorite RuneScape private server there, Ruix RSPS and today we're gonna be recording a brand new episode of our Road to Heroic mode. I'm very excited, the first things first, the giveaway is gonna be a 50 double to one lucky winner. All of you do that is like the video, comment, check your name down below and be subscribed to my channel. Episode number one was released last week, make sure to check it out if you guys haven't seen it yet and I would say let's get right into the video. Small recap, we've managed to prestige for the first time already, it was absolutely nice. We've got in from the normal mode towards the heart mode. We've already started some grinds, 800 total level was very, very nice. And today we're going to continue an overall grind. I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing yet. We'll just do an overall thing and I uh, hope you enjoy the episode. Make sure to join Runix with the links down below. As I've said, my favorite Runix private server out there. Enter the giveaway by liking the video, commenting, giving me a on beast from my channel. And let's say, let's get right into the grind. So since it's fairly late for me, I'm going to go ahead and do some chill skilling. AFK wounds that we can get out of the way. I think the first thing I'm going to go is probably for some lovely smithing grind. And let's see how long it's going to take to get this bad boy up a decent level. So I did something a little bit awkward right there. I had a donator lamp in my bank. And I want to see how much speed we're going to get on this game mode right here. And I've actually got fucking 99 from it. I've actually got 19 million from one lamp. That's actually insane. So you could technically grind the entire precision thing with donated lamps. But obviously, this is not the purpose of the series. And uh, yeah, well, that is the 99 smithing. Next up, we'll go ahead and grind some thiefing. Okay, I've just realized they probably used my entire fucking catalyst tokens for that. Oh my goodness. That's why we've got 19 million in total. You can stack donated lamps with tokens, apparently, which is going to give you three times XP. This is actually... Absolute insane. Good thing is we've got a couple of donator tokens left. So we're going to go ahead and buy some tokens right here. I'm really hoping to get a lot of freaking catalyst tokens. Epic lock 50. I'll take this as well. Misty tokens very awesome as well. But we're not getting any fucking catalyst, dude. I'm literally not getting... Oh my god. Okay, this is tragic actually, people. There we go. A couple of them right here. Lots of epic locks and mystics. These are okay as well. Catalyst the one we need actually as well as the mystic ones. All right, here we go. We've opened 15 of these in total. That's the loot right here. We're definitely going to use this. Here we go. 60 thiefing coming in, which means we can pickpocket these elves for 27 fucking K. That is absolute amazing. All right, let's keep going. 85 thiefing coming in. That's absolutely beautiful. And we'll probably go for a 99. What you guys reckon? Probably we'll go for 99. Yeah, 90 thiefing coming in. Here we go, 99 thiefing coming in on the lovely heart mate. That's actually very nice, another 99 of the way. Perfect, total level over 1000 as well. Freaking love it. All right, next up, let's go for some mining grunt right here. Apparently, mi mi Mithril is the best one to go for. I was told, so I guess we'll just do that. Let's see how long we'll take until we get 90. Let's get it. One really OP thing I can definitely recommend you to use is play on houses with these ores right here. So as we can see, the mystery rock right here, you don't have to click on each or once. You just click once and then you can get a full inventory and then you can bang after that. Super fucking OP. Huge shout out to Pot of Greed who showed me this. You can do it also for wood carding, for mining. It's super, super OP. And yeah, we're going to get very quickly actually 99 mining. So I think less than half an hour, we should have it. 90 mining coming in. Here we go, boys. 99 mining in the heart mode it coming in. That is a very nice achievement. And now it's a good night for us. And I'll see you tomorrow with the next grinds. Alrighty, boys. So it's the next morning. I've just realized yesterday when we've grinded 99 mining, I could have actually done that while doing the lovely uh, galvanic totem farming. But anyway, that's okay, I guess. We've got to use other skills for that one. And we will go ahead and start doing some other things today. I'm not even sure where we're going to be starting, but let's get into it. All right, next time uh, up, we're going to go out and do some crafting. I think crafting is pretty sweet skill to get up. So we're going to go out and buy some leather right here. So here we go. Super sweet and easy grind. And uh, yeah, getting 6.5k in the heart mode with the lovely skeleton. Because that means 3k for Sapphire normally. That's actually not too shabby in this game mode. And um, yeah, we'll get 99 crafting. I'm quite sure. We'll take a minute. Uh, but I'm sure... This is a quick and easy 99 right there. The goal is definitely to get 1.5k total level so we can use the skiller, uh, the skiller backpack. That gives a nice boost, which we can't wear yet, which is unfortunate. But this one gives 10% more XP boost as well. And that we're going to use for the harder skills, I guess. And um, yeah, I'll see you when we get 99 crafting. And one thing that's actually quite interesting and funny is when I've got all these skilling supplies back in the day through various activities, 
I always thought, when on how are we going to be using these? And now actually the time came. That's actually very, very funny. And um, yeah, 40.5k for a diamond one. Actually very sick. 18k for the freaking Dragonstone. But I think I'm going to keep the Dragonstone for another time. And the Ruby one, it's going to give us 11k. So we'll go probably with the, with the diamonds all the way to 99. We've got 6k right there. We definitely have to buy more supplies for the future. Because on the next game modes, we'll need so much more of these. And uh, yeah... Let's get it, boys. Here we go. 99 crafting coming in. Absolutely nice. Total level 1,138. Not too shabby, honestly. Another 99 out of the way. And yeah, let's get So we have a couple of things to claim as well right here. Nice, including some luck tokens. Not too bad. I think what we're going to do next, even though it takes maybe a bit of time, is go to the Galvanic, uh, Galvanic Totem Farming. So let's get it. So this one is a complete custom mini game on a Runex Cavern of Prosperity, aka the lovely, uh, well, PVMing with skilling is actually very freaking cool. So to explain really quick, we got this sea slug right here. What we want to farm is the Galvanic base. One in 166 is the base. In order to kill this bad boy, we want to go ahead and use our harpoon on it, or we can go ahead and burn the fucker. So both works. Actually, no. On this one, we need a freaking tinder box. So this is with fire making right here. There's a bunch of different skills you guys will be able to do in here. It's actually very, very cool. So, uh, wind golems, for example, as well. And one of them was actually with mining. So, I'm a bit sad I got 99 mining like that. But, yeah. This one for here, for example. We can go ahead and... Oh, wait. We have to wear it. Okay, there we go. We're going to be farming it with uh, some lovely farming XP. Yes, that's very nice. 166. He's dropping the lovely bottom, I believe. No, the middle one. Okay. So yeah, let's go on and grind it. So we're going to be using also the pat, the Galvanic Golem pat. that's giving 15% more damage. It's actually very cool. I've put some custom accessories well on it, and that's going to help with the grind. So this should be uh, much quicker. And yeah, let's see how long we'll take to get a full totem right here. Fine. So let's go ahead. A huge load of Rune Coin Valley right here, because we need to buy a couple of things here. Boom, chaka, laka, 22,000 Rune Coins will come for a Romit. That is a very, very... Bro, it takes a freaking minute right here. But yeah. Very nice. Got a daily as well completed for donor mystery box. That we can open right back, to be honest. And we didn't get anything too crazy from. So we're going to be buying the Scholar's Blessing. That's definitely one item we're going to be buying. That one has a custom effect right here. Doubles the cap of Skiller, Combat, and Catalyst tokens. We should have bought this much earlier. So it's going to give us more duration on tokens. Very awesome. And I'm not sure what else we're going to be buying, honestly. But yeah, we have our joint more as well spawning in a second. We definitely got to miss out on the emo. I've completely forgot I don't have any fucking stats. Yeah, F the So another thing we're going to be buying from the shop is the Ring of Greed. This is very OP. You get 7.5k more. Lovely. Ring of Valley on top of the 20k max thing there. So that's actually very awesome. I'm going to go back to the Cavern of Prosperity now. I'm going to set a challenge right here. One hour to go ahead and be in the fucking cave and be finding it. We have lock tokens two times dropped. We have all the elixirs in. And, uh, yeah, yeah I th we should be able to do this very quickly, actually. But, yeah, let's see how it goes. We are currently 87 farming, and we will go towards 99 with the freaking minigame right here. That's just absolute awesome. Live on stream as well. HXWL gets 99 rune crafting on the heroic mode. That is some crazy ass fucking grind, dude. I've just hit the rare drop table for the point mystery chest, I think, or the bot, I can't remember. And I've also hit the 250 of these. Double rare drop table hits, and yeah, unfortunate. So we've just bought a herbicide right here, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna upgrade this bad boy into a herbicide eye. With that item, we're gonna be getting free Hablo XP while doing it, so that's actually very OP. Uh, the chance is 50% actually. Let's go. Let's get it successful. Boom. For fuck's sake, man. Okay, I've bought two. If I failed twice and just spent a fucking 150k for this item, I'm gonna fucking drive crazy. Okay, here we go. And until it's successful. Please, game. Please, game. Don't troll me. Yes. Fuck, I bought one for no reason. Well, we got it. So, we've just got ourselves to level 69 Heblo. The cool thing with the herbicide is you have the right level. The herbs you guys will be getting will be converted right into Herblo XP, as you can see right here. So I've just got to 71 passively Herblo level. That is very, very OP, actually, and we will use this for the entire fucking grind. And also, update right here, we still have not received a piece, and that's pretty sad. We've been here probably since 40 minutes, something like that. 
with uh, luck tokens everything as well but uh yeah we're just not getting lucky right now i'm very happy though we are very efficient on uh on getting the xpc up with three different styles which is perfect we hit again the freaking red table on a crystal key that is a pretty fucking sad if you ask me but yeah i guess let's keep going yo i'm actually grinding with my homie right here probe and he got the middle piece on kc 552 sad life and he just arrived as well after the chat I just did it again. Oh my god. Double freaking crystal key drop tables right here. This is I, I'm actually sad at this point. Actually freaking sad. And the crazy part, it's also announced always in the freaking chat right here. I've got this announced like three times already now. Well, GG. So another freaking middle was dropped here for this guy, Sky. Just not getting it. I don't know. And we get point mystery box. My dear lord. What is happening here? What is happening today? Last week we got it instantly. Now we get freaking, oh my god, mystery box again. Sad life. Look at this insane freaking hair blog, right? We're 96 already, and we haven't done anything besides killing these bad boys right here. So that's an amazing grind. Farming, 97 and a half. This will take a minute to get to 99, but we'll get that as well. And still no totem piece, unfortunately, but yeah, it is what it is. Yes, sir, we've got the galvanic middle piece. Let's go, 183kc, that is absolutely fantastic and we did not get managed to get 99 in herb lord neither did get them farming we'll get on the next one very happy we've managed to get this piece bro this man right here who got the middle piece as well is the luckiest man on earth he just got a double freaking galvanic top on 11 kc what on earth okay 99 farming coming in absolutely awesome and we bought it 99 hair blow as well so that's actually absolute nice and that is where we're gonna be wrapping up this brand new episode lots of grind today i hope you guys enjoyed the episode there we go 99 hair blow as well i hope you learn a lot of different custom things as well that offers on runex for example the herbie sun eye is super worth it make sure to get it 50,000 rune coins enchant it and uh, yeah also with all the different items you should be using and everything and um yeah absolutely nice we have right now 1.26k we got a lot of nine of the way today the grind will continue and yeah enter the giveaway if you don't want to give by liking the video commenting and your name down below and be subscribed to my channel join me favorite risky private set with the links down below as you all around thanks for tuning in have a good one and bees